Hello and welcome. Let's break down Gold Corp's 2012 cost to produce. Gold Corp obtains over 99% of its revenues from five products. Gold, silver, copper, zinc, and lead. Let's look at the cost to produce each. In 2012, Gold Corp's revenue was $5.435 billion, with $3.908 billion coming from gold, or 71.9%. 815 million coming from silver or 15%, 366 million coming from copper or 6.73%, 234 million coming from zinc or 4.31%, 97 million coming from lead or 1.78%, and about 15 million or 0.28% coming from other sources. To calculate out the cost per ounce and pound, I use the co-product method which attaches costs to the revenue they produce. I took the consolidated income statement from the 2012 annual report and broke down each cost as follows. 71.9% of revenue comes from gold, so 71.9% of each cost is applied to gold. 15% of revenue comes from silver, so 15% of each cost is applied to silver. 6.73% of revenue comes from copper, so 6.73% of each cost is applied to copper. 4.31% of revenue comes from zinc, so 4.31% of each cost is applied to zinc. And 1.78% of revenue comes from lead, so 1.78% of each cost is applied to lead. I then divided each cost by the number of ounces or pounds produced to get a cost per ounce or pound breakdown. In 2012, Gold Corp had production costs of $2.337 billion, which calculates out to $717.89 per ounce for gold, Eleven fifty per ounce for silver, a dollar forty per pound for copper, thirty-one cents per pound for zinc, and twenty-seven cents per pound for lead. There were depreciation costs of six hundred seventy-five million, which calculates out to two hundred seven dollars and thirty-five cents per ounce for gold, three dollars and thirty-two cents per ounce for silver, forty cents per pound for copper, nine cents per pound for zinc, and eight cents per pound for lead. Total production and depreciation costs. $925.24 per ounce for gold, $14.83 per ounce for silver, $1.81 per pound for copper, $0.40 per pound for zinc, and $0.35 per pound for lead. There were exploration costs, a credit from investments in other producers, and administration costs. This brings costs to $1,002.96 per ounce for gold, $16.07 per ounce for silver, $1.96 per pound for copper, 43 cents per pound for zinc and 38 cents per pound for lead. There was a gain on disposal from the sale of interest on Osisco Mining. There was an impairment charge. This was a write down of value on available for sale securities. There was a gain on derivative hedges which more than offset all costs in this section. There was a gain on dispositions. There were finance costs. There was other miscellaneous income. This brings pre-tax complete cost to $977.77 per ounce for gold, $15.67 per ounce for silver, $1.91 per pound for copper, $0.42 cents per pound for zinc, $0.37 cents per pound for lead. There were taxes. This brings complete cost for each metal in 2002 to $1,132.29 per ounce for gold, $18.15 per ounce for silver, $2.21 per pound for copper, $0.49 per pound for zinc, and $0.43 per pound for lead. In 2012, Gold Corp's net profit was about 32%, and current metal prices are still above Gold Corp's 2012 complete cost to produce, suggesting that Gold Corp's current production is probably still profitable at this time. Thanks for watching.